every place that I go, folks will turn their heads. Yes, this world will remember Tammy T. Hey guys, it's me, Tammy T, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Tammy Show. Hey everyone, so recently I just watched the new musical Bonnie and Clyde on the West End. I loved it so much that I'm going to do a musical review Monday on it. This show had everything and more. Action, thrill, romance and even the element of surprise. First and first, like the gunshots blew me away. Spoiler alert, there's guns in it. It was so loud, so unexpected and it literally made me scream. Like, ah! Like that. I didn't really know much about Bonnie and Clyde before this. Like, all I really knew was, like, that they kill people. Now I know that that's not what it's all about. There was so much more than that. And, like, it wasn't just about Bonnie and Clyde, even though it kind of was, and that was the best part. In my opinion, it was cool to see how everything unfolded. To see this unfolding idea in the song, it's too late to turn back now. They were just acting this amazing, incredible turning point in the show so well. And it's so intense because Bonnie's there and she's like, I'm leaving. And then Clyde's like, no, stay. And you're like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? And then they're also singing at the same time. It's so awesome. It's like it's a musical or something. It's so good. It's a musical and it's such a good story and it's so good and they're so talented <sighs> my heart was racing the whole time i was like oh my gosh and i didn't know where to look crazy it was at the arts theater and i thought it was super cool it had loads of cool stuff there like it had a mirror with bonnie and clyde and they also had something where you could check to see how tall you are and then obviously the merch stall it was so small but that just made it even more incredible and like intense because it was so close and you felt like you were like part of the action but the sound system there and the sound effects was like unbelievable just it felt so real and it filled the whole room with suspense and it was just so loud it gave me a headache at one point but then it was so good so you're watching this amazing show right so it just made me so entertained that my headache went away that's a good thing because the effect that it had on me was so great that i completely forgot about it because i was having such a great time i sat on the left side of the circle like on the benches and it was actually such a good view i think anywhere you sit in that theater you're going to get such a good experience and such a great view because it's so small i really like that about it you know i hope to see more shows in theaters like that you can also see a bit of the backstage behind the scenes from where i was sat which was really awesome to see as well which i thought was pretty cool one part i couldn't see though is when like clyde came on from like the left bottom corner like where i was sat on top of so like came up underneath from where i was but i don't know like if he came like from the audience or something i was a bit confused i was like where did he come from that just made it even more exciting and unexpected so you know that just added on to it imagine this right you're in heathers more dark and more old-fashioned that's why i kind of was like oh like i don't know if i'm gonna like this because normally i'm like old-fashioned stuff like i don't really like that but this really changed my mind and it was so interesting songs were engaging it hooked you in and they told the story so nicely yeah i thought it was going to be really dark and scary so i was like oh i didn't know whether i should go watch it it was not it was more creepy but like in a good way the whole time though i have to admit i was like how can you hate him when it's jordan lee gage oh my gosh jordan lee gage is amazing i've literally met him always relate something back to Anne julia i don't know how i do it i think it's because it's so incredible jordan lee gage was also romeo in Anne julia and he smashed that role smashed jd in heathers oh yeah there's nothing and francis Marilyn mccann who was bonnie they were both in heathers how crazy is that i'm a bunny unicorn but like he actually is Clyde. Both so passionate and they both gave an unforgettable performance. It was so dramatic. Like when you would get caught, I'll be like, oh no. I loved, loved, loved the dance sections as well. Like they was so minimal, but like so effective. Dancing, clapping, pause. Clyde comes in, gun, pow, pow, done. Dancing. Do, 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 do. Pause, gun, dancing. Do, do. Yeah, literally just like that. It was super fun. Even had a ukulele. I have one too. Leaning back on the 
ball. I would like to tell my body nothing rhymes with cloud and bunny. I thought it was really good. The accents were so good. Like they were doing the like southern american accent i can't really do it but it was a like pretty little bit of english business and we're doing that right now we're trying to do the southern accent so i must stop trying to do it now they kept them really well even when they were singing talent right there talking about the singing the riffs and the like flips that they did were extraordinary vocal choices one of my faves was there's no plan b and it was so good i enjoyed that one and they're so memorable too actually listening to dying ain't so bad was really incredible so emotional and then just add the incredible vocals just blew me away very good obviously raise a little hair wow the reviews are correct with that one that one is spine tingling when he sings in one breath it's just chills and i was literally on the edge of my seat this world will remember us i was waiting for this song to come on from the very beginning or should i say the very ending <laughs> Huh, no. The only song that I kind of knew, and it definitely exceeded my expectations. How it did go from remember me to remember us. So awesome. Now I know and love pretty much all the songs. And I like the money confetti. That was cool. The beginning and the ending were really clever. Like I thought it was literal magic. The kids in the show are amazing. Then goes through their life. The song Picture Show. And I thought it was magnificent storytelling. You got to see it and you can see how different they were. And then how it all twisted together when they grew up. And everyone is just super talented. I was so shocked at how many amazing transitions and set changes there were. It just looked so good. What time is it? Merch time. The program was 10 pounds i know that is quite a lot but it's good quality though like it is a really good quality program and it doesn't just have the cast in it it has like information all this kind of stuff it also has pictures in it so sometimes you have to pay separate for just the pictures i think it's pretty cool how it's got both in it here they are jordan lee gage is clad their role the amazing cast okay i'll put some like clips in over now of the program if you want to have a closer look at all the amazing incredible amazing things and the creatives and the, the director. Let's see who the director was. Director and choreographer, Nick Winston. Very clever guy. Now it's time for the Tammy T rating. Drum roll, please. I give Bonnie and Clyde five out of five T's. <laughs> I wish I could see this again, so I would definitely recommend if you haven't already gone see it. I was excitedly surprised. I didn't know if I was going to like it because normally I only really like happy musicals, but I really did like it and it was so different while being so powerful. And the applause was amazing, appreciating all that amazing talent that was on that stage. I loved it. So different from what I would normally watch, but I'm so glad I went to go see it. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. See you later. Bye.